Well, you've been betting on K-Props for quite a while now. I know a lot of people just have started jumping on some of these props, but in the time that you've bet on strikeout props, what have you learned? And I think sometimes the best teaching method is the ones that you lose. And sometimes you learn from those losses and you say, hey, this is what, what went wrong. This was the sabotage factor. What is some baseline advice you would give for people just starting out when trying to bet on K-Props? It's going to go back and forth when betting on K-Props. Granted, in the long run, you should end up profitable because streaks in K-Props, at least for me, have been better than the losing streaks. You've got to just keep the course. Sometimes I try too hard to change the way that I handicap. It ends up putting me in this downward spiral. I know that these K-Props started for me at 13 and 5 on the season. In the last two days, that's gotten up to 13 and 10. Yes, there's some regression there. I'm not going to change what I was doing, though, because there's going to be another streak coming up. We're in the third way through the rotations, which means that these lineups and these hitters are starting to get more familiar at the plate. The pitchers are going to start to progress, too. They just were getting ahead of the batters, which is normal in those first couple of times through the rotation because lineups haven't seen these pitchers before. It's going to all bounce back eventually. Just keep your course. Don't change the way that you cap. Don't get too nervous. And definitely do not chase. Oh, that's that's such good advice. We've all done that. And particularly don't change the process when you know it works for you. And historically, it's been good because everyone is going to have those spots.